What's going on guys? Um, in this video, I got a package right here. It says Sono Kong. I got this on Amazon um, for like $49. So I'm really curious to see if it is a, um, a mid fake or not. Because I feel like the set should not be this cheap. I have another one also ordered. Um, if it is real, I'll just probably just leave it unboxed and buy like three more. But um, we'll see. Um, so here's the box. Let me look at it in person really quick. Here's the code. It looks like it's from 2012. So, so far everything seems real. Um, what the heck? But I don't have my original TT box to, um, to, uh, compare it. And I know this is the Sono Kong version. That box, sticker sheet, and I gotta keep opening my knife. All right. Check this out. So here is the Blitz metal wheel. Jeez. There doesn't seem to be any excess plastic, or I mean metal on it. So it does look real. And I will be doing like a weighing test at the end of this video. Weighing everything. I guess I better open these first. So here's the metal face. Again, it seems fine. Basalt. I don't have any lead test strips to test anything. Um. But so far, everything looks good. Um, the set itself also, I remember unboxing this back in, I can't remember when it was these days. But I remember unboxing it and it feels the exact same. Okay, this is real rubber. Like... The rubber is really soft. So I believe that this is authentic. Either authentic or an extremely, extremely high mid fake. Uh, high quality mid fake. Let's see EWD and rubber sharp. Yeah, if this is real, this is a, a steal right now. These people are selling just Blitz for like $90. Oh, better shut my knife Why the guy's around. Rubber Sharp is fine too. Yeah, it looks good. It's chewing on the bubble wrap. Hey! Just, what did...
yeah, I think this is authentic, guys. Um, there's no reason for me not to think it is. Um, everything feels good about it. There doesn't. There's nothing that makes me feel like it's um, not authentic. I don't have the original basalt. I know basalt is like 40. I'll have to look up how many grams basalt is. Please. I cannot. Yeah, every, everything looks good, guys. I, um. I don't really know what to say. Because I, I know I mainly bought this because 49 bucks just seemed too good. Because the ones on eBay are like 70 bucks now. But everything is clicking together. Look at that rubber sharp. It looks, it is rubber too. Um, as well as this RSF is also rubber. Um, so I do believe that this is real. I'm gonna go grab my scale and weigh uh, these compared to the authentic stuff. All right, guys, so here I have it. I butchered one of the stickers. It's, it's been too long since I put it on, um, but it looks good. And let's test the weights of these things. So the original Takartomi Nightmare X, 42 grams. 41 grams. Forty-one. So that one works. The original um, blitz. It could be a little different. I'm not sure. I don't know how much of a difference there is between Sono Kong and Takaratomi. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> the weight seemed to be very accurate. Um, just for, uh, I don't know if this face bolt is authentic. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. So 43 grams or 44 grams. Forty three, so pretty similar. This one is worn, so that could play a role. Um but as of now let me compare the two face bolts really quick. My only concern is this face bolt looks a little round right here. Um, but that could not be anything either. But yeah, we don't know. But yeah, anyway, that's been my uh, unboxing of the Strongest Blader set by Sono Kong. I want it to be authentic. I might do a lead test because the blitz wheel seems good enough. So, and, the, and everything else seems really good. So I'm not sure, but there it is. It looks really good right now. So thanks for watching guys. And please comment, like, and subscribe to the video. See ya.